Here's our next example of how to use the method of substitution to do integration. And this is kind of a classic example. If you have never been shown how to do this problem, as simple as it may look, this is actually a kind of a difficult problem and you may not be able to figure it out on your own. It may take you a while. So look carefully, see what I do. So we need to substitute something here and I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say let x plus one equal u. So let u equal x plus one, which means du dx is equal to one and du is equal to dx or dx is equal to du which means I'm going to substitute this and this back inside the integral sign and see what we end up with. So this is equal to the integral sign of x divided by u and said dx we write du. Now you look at that and go, whoa, I'm in trouble. I can't integrate that. I can't have more than one variable inside my integral sign. Well, the trick is to go back over here and say, well, if u is equal to x plus one, this means that x is equal to u minus one. And so we're going to then substitute this x up here by u minus 1. And so this can now be written as the integral of u minus 1 over u times du. And now you can divide the denominator into the numerator. So if you do that, this is equal to the integral of u divided by u is 1 minus 1 over u du. And this, is, and this is kind of like a polynomial. We can then separate that into two integrals. So this can be written as the integral of 1 du minus, one, minus the integral of 1 over u du. All right. So once you have it like that, now you can integrate both of these integrals. The integral of 1 du is simply u. So this is equal to u minus. And the integral of 1 over u du, that's a classic case. That's, of course, the natural log of u. And, of course, don't forget the constant of integration. And then you substitute back in what u is equal to here and here. So this is equal to u, which is x plus 1, minus the natural log of, instead of u, you write x plus 1, and don't forget the absolute value signs, and then of course plus the constant of integration. And this here is the integral of that form. And again, if you've never seen this worked out before like this, you probably won't think about it. Um, and this is a good thing to memorize. So again, first you just let u equal x plus 1. That means that dx equals du. You make the substitution. You still have an x in there. Now you have to get rid of that x. The clever way is to then go up here and, so and solve this equation for x and substitute for x u minus 1 right here. And then you still can't quite integrate it. But then if you realize if you divide the denominator into the denominator, you end up with something you can integrate. And then you're on your way to solve it. And that's how you do that particular problem.